In my last video, I made a Valentine treat bag with the polka dot bags from the Twisty Treats kit and the crazy mixed up love stamp set. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Now I'm going to use these same materials to make a card. Yes, that's right. I'm going to use the cellophane bags on a card. In my last video, I demonstrated for you how I made my gift tag. Now I'm going to use those same products, the Crazy Mixed Up Love Stamp Set, and the bags from the Twisty Treats kit to make a greeting card. I'm Shelly Godby, the owner and CEO of Stamping Smiles, and for 13 years I've been teaching others how to create their own hand stamped smiles. So to use this for our greeting card, what we're going to do is trim it down. I have my Stampin' Trimmer, and here's the top of my bag. And I'm going to put this in at four inches, lock it in place, and watch how the blade cuts right through. Isn't that beautiful? And so on the bottom, I have a smaller bag, and I can save that for a small project. But for what I'm doing now, I want this sleeve. And I need to take this apart. It'll peel right apart for us. <laughs> there we go. Okay, I did try ironing it. It didn't work. <laughs> it didn't melt. I did put a towel over it, but I just couldn't iron it out. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to use part of it, and I want this largest area. So at this full, I'm going to cut that off. Trim that. There we go. And let's trim the other side, too. Here at this fold. There. And so now I have that trimmed. Here is the part that I'm wanting. I have a three and a half by four inch piece of Melon Mambo cardstock in the center, stamped on a piece of Whisper White cardstock. Again, is the crazy mixed up love stamp set using the same colors as my Valentine project. And that was punched out with a two and a half inch circle punch. So now what we're going to do is layer this over top. And the way we've cut the cardstock to three and a half inches wide, we are all set. So if you want to keep this easy with those folds already there, three and a half, and you can make the length longer than four or shorter than four doing this. And so on the back, we just need to add some snail adhesive, put our finger where those ridges are, and secure down our flaps. And there we have that. Isn't that cute with the polka dots? The project shows through really well, but the polka dots are adorable. I've got to show you the finished card. So here's my finished card. Look how it coordinates with my Valentine treat if I want to give those together. And so, do you recognize this? You may not. It is the twist tie from the Twisty Treats kit. On one side you have the hearts, and the other the stripes. And I use the stripes and put that right along here. I did it here with mini glue dots and then just trimmed it off my paper snips. It just cut through that little bit of wire so easily. Then our hearts, you remember from my last video, they're also included in the Twisty Treats kit. So we use the bag and the hearts and the twist ties, and we still have all those wonderful tags to use on other projects. Oh, and our little something something inside. <laughs> we have just the hanger. And I showed you in a video not too long ago how to mask off. If you'd like a link to that, I can certainly show you how to do that. So there we have our Valentine card to go with our Valentine treat. And both of these were made with the free Celebration 2014 Twisty Treats kit, free with a purchase. So you purchase any of the products that you would need to make these in my online store or anything else your little heart desires. Uh, so $50. A $50 order will get you one celebration product for free, and that can be the Twisty Treats. <laughs> As you can see, you can have a lot of fun with those. And so go to my online store, www.shopwithshelly.com, and get your free celebration gifts while you can. They're available only through March 31st, 2014. I'm Shelly Godby, teaching you how to create hand stamp smiles. Thanks for watching.